Hi friends, welcome to the SM Academy. Now we are going to discuss about the fifth problem of XS 12.1 that is of application of trigonometry. Let us observe a question. We want to erect a pole of height 10 meters with the support of three ropes. Three ropes and each rope has to make an angle of 30 degrees with the pole. Then what should be the length of the rope? See, if you want to erect the pole of height 10 meters that means let us suppose a pole of height 10 meters then you want to erect it with, a, with the help of uh, three ropes so here instead of taking three ropes let me take with the first one rope then afterwards by taking up that means by finding out the length of one rope then we can find out the length of three rows by multiplying it by three so here i am going to take with the only one rope so suppose i want to take this pole erect this pole with one row as it makes the 30 degrees with the pole that means this blue color one i am supposing as a thread or rope so this rope is making 30 degrees with the pole then and um, then what should we find out what should be the length of the rope that means we have to find out the length of rope so from this diagram here it forms a a right angle triangle then it makes a 90 degrees why because pole will be the vertical to the base to the base so it's a 90 degrees i am supposing that a b is a pole and a c is a rope so that here we get a, a right angle triangle a b c in which angle b is 90 degrees here i am supposing that let a b is a 10 meters a b is a pole well, because you mentioned that a b is um, length of a pole is a 10 meters so that we will get a a b is a 10 meters then what we know we know that triangle a b c is a right angle triangle is a right angle right angle triangle so in which angle b is a 90 degrees and angle A we got as a 30 degrees and AC is a rope. AC is a rope. And what they are asking us to find out AC is the length of the rope. Then what they are asking us to find out? They are asking us to find out what is the length of the rope. That means we have to find out A B A C measurement we have to find out. So if you observe the diagram carefully in triangle A B C in triangle A B C we know one of acute angle of right angle triangle that is a with respect to of angle a we know it's a adjacent side and we have to find out hypotenuse ac so in what trigonometric ratio we know uh, we use adjacent side and hypotenuse that means cos so that we have to apply cos a so on taking this cos a is equal to adjacent side to the angle a adjacent side to the angle A by hypotenuse so what is adjacent side to the angle A adjacent side to the angle A is AB and hypotenuse is AC and we know that cos A cos A in the sense cos 30 degrees we know why because angle A is 30 degrees so I can substitute instead of A I can write 30 degrees cos 30 degrees is equal to 10 by 10. why we have written 10 means we know cos a is equal to a b by a c and we know a b value is than 10 meters so 10 by a c and as we know cos 30 value as a root 3 by 2 let me substitute cos 30 value as a root 3 by 2 is equal to 10 by a c 10 by a c then on Doing cross multiplication, root 3 times of AC is equal to 20, that means 10 into 2. So AC is equal to 20 by root 3. 20 by root 3. Now, here this is the length of one rope. This is the length of one rope. And if you observe this, this uh, denominator is an irrational number. So to make an, uh, it as a rational number, 
I'm, uh, I'm making the denominator as a rational number by multiplying a rational the factor of the denominator that is of root 3 by root 3 so that 20 root 3 by root 3 the whole square 20 root 3 by root 3 the whole square square and square root will get cancelled so that this can be written as 20 root 3 by 3 this is the length of one row this is the length of one row that is equal to 20 root 3 by 3 here we have to find out length of three ropes so length of three ropes three ropes is equal to 3 into 20 root 3 by 3 3 3 get cancelled this can be written as 20 into root 3 now 20 into root 3 here we can substitute the value of root 3 as at 1.732 so on multiplying them on multiplying them we get answer as 34.65 meters so therefore we required the rope of 34.65 meters length this is how to solve this problem thank you friends for watching this video